right, it's uh, April 2nd, 2002, and we are at Pedro Cave in Northern Clarendon. It's about half past 12, should have been a little earlier, but nevertheless, we're, we're, we're here. Um, we're looking for uh, a little invertebrate, a little worm called a velvet worm. Um, not quite sure of the scientific um, name, but Steph, you can fill that in. Back in the day when you know, people didn't know anything about caves and the, the entrance to the underworld, and they say these places have spiritual. Where are you going? He's videoing. Okay, the wire is veiled. That's where this uh, passage goes. He's busy. He's videoing. Come on. Go. So I wonder if the Cross River or Pedro River. This was once it's a um, course. I imagine. You see all this? Like, this is like breakdown. It collapses when you see it. You're going to leave the bags, right? No. No? Okay. Do I tie it back to my foot or can I wear it in my back home? Okay. Okay, what we got? wide part. I think this is where it goes through the three ways. And we reach the end of the main passage right there. Yeah, this, this is an ancient sump, looks like it, eh? Yeah, it's probably a fair depth of sediment here. Okay, you guys, and this is the part where we might start seeing the Anikophoran. So remember the mission and look down for little things. They're only like an inch long, inch and a half long. Would they be in water or? No, dry. They'll be in mud, rocks. Keep an eye out for them. <laughs> When I come behind you, I'm going to put some flags, so we'll be sure to get out. We're 
if you get stuck, we'll just come back in a couple of days when you've lost some weight with a big tub of Vaseline. I'm getting a rock. I'm going to dig out some of this shit. <laughs> I thought I was losing weight. Still <laughs> got a ways to go, eh? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, you seem to be pretty efficient over there. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Yes. Right. And you straighten up. Straighten up. Right. And then come up. Yes, boss. Here's I've been doing here's this for a whole day. Beginner's luck. <laughs> See, this place where the glasses were on my face. Is that your flagging, eh? Yeah. squeeze. Okay. The right hand passage according to the notes in the map, they uh, knocked out a couple of uh, stall bar barriers, but I haven't noticed any signs of that in this passage. That's why I'm thinking this must oh, be yeah, an extension. It looks like it. It's like a letterbox. Um, yeah, I want some, some water to come and go down in this. Okay. So it, it takes this corner and it goes down and you can turn around and you can, you can probably stand up in here. Okay, this is pretty much our far point here. This little opening uh, looks like one of the stall barriers that uh, was busted out like 50 years ago. And uh, it's, man, what about 35 to 40 centimeters wide and about 30 high. It's a bit tight. People got through there, though. And all I'm going to try and do is poke the camera through with my light. You feel a very fair echo coming from the interior part where it opens up. All right, let me get my light going here. what it looks like through this little opening. You can see it opens up. It carries on. There's a little bit of air coming past me right now. Um, coming into the cave. From that part it feels like. We might come back and try and widen this a little. Okay, this up here appears to be the left-hand passage from three-way, but I cannot find any good handholds or anything to actually climb up the rest of the way here to get up to it. But you see up there, it opens up into a, to a real passage that goes in. Are you 
you want to go back the other way. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the way I came. So Adam, how do we do? Well, um, <laughs> we did well, my friend. We okay. did find your uh, velvet worm, but there's always next time. And uh, so we got to the three-way in the back, and what we thought was could be the extension, where it looks like they had broken out some of the calcite. Um, a real, pretty much almost a square. Weren't brave enough, I don't think anybody today to go through that, but we'll be back to get through that. And then on the, so that was the, r the right passage, the, the, le the left uh, has promise, uh, but we need a shovel. Um, and introduce us to our, our new caver here today. And this is Tirza Mahabir, who has done surprisingly well, you know, very impressed. Um, it was like a fish in water. Yeah man, no fear, going no through fear. the... First two through. tight little spots. Yeah, and you know, didn't ask too many questions. She just absorbed it all. Yeah. Atiyah, so you're going to come out with us again? Sure, it was fun. Okay, yeah, good. Excellent. And uh, yeah, there's, there's some more potential in there. Uh, dig out that last section mm -hmm. and see. I, I don't know, you, you know, you, you said you felt breeze. Mm -hmm. it, it felt, it smelled fresh, but I, I didn't really feel that much breeze. Yeah, definitely felt a breeze. Yeah, in the two spots. In the extension or the other one? The, the extension and the other spot. <coughs> yep. Okay. And so through that, that crawl um, f from three ways to the main chamber, you could feel a bit of air flow through there too. Yeah, yeah, back to the... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to the main passage. So, um, yeah. Potential there is, you know. And, that, and that's, that's what we love about caving, eh? You just never know. <laughs> 